going on guys let's do this problem right here the question is asking the street light is mounted at the top of 20 feet tall pole so let's draw this diagram too so this is a 20 feet let's say this is a 20 feet pole and this is 20 feet and uh, a man 6 feet walks toward pole at speed of 0 0.5 feet per second so they are saying a man so let's say this is the man <coughs> and the man is six feet tall so six feet walk towards the pole at the speed of 0 0.5 feet per second so if this is x if the distance is x the information gives us is uh, dx by dt is equal to 0 0.5 feet per second also we know that uh, if the man walk toward this pole the distance is going to be decreasing therefore we can assume this is a neg negative we, we know that this is going to be negative because the distance is going to be decreasing so whenever we have decreasing situation in uh, related traits we we know that's a negative sense. so this is negative 0 0.5 feet per sec <coughs> and so uh, they are asking uh, how fast of how fast this length of his shadow is changing when he is eight feet from the pole. So this, so they are saying this is eight feet, and so the street light is on top. So the shadow is going to be making soon you know when the light hit the man, the shadow is going to be somewhere here. <coughs> So let's say this is y. So from this one I can create equation using a similar triangle because the angle that's making are equal so I can form a relationship. So if I take if I take the small triangle and let's do this 6 over y. I'm taking this height and the length of that triangle. So 6 over y is going to be equal to 20 over taking the big one 20 over x plus y so you can also mention let's say a b c d e so similar triangle similar triangle a b c and a d e so this is how we are doing and now what I can do is I can cross multiply each each of this so this is going to be 6x plus y and the other book, uh, other side we are going to have 20y therefore if we solve for y uh, if I expand this one 6x plus 6y is equal to 20y then if I bring the y to the other side it will, this will become 16 no 14y 14y is equal to 6x therefore y is going to be equal to 6x over 7, uh, 40 and if I simplify this one this is going to become 3x over 7 so our, uh, the question is asking dy by dt because we the the speed of the how fast is the length of the shadow is changing so changing speed is going to be this dy by dt and we know the distance of shadow is y that's why it, this is and that's what we have to find now we have from the equation with the y that's y is equal to 3x over 7 now differentiate with respect to t now what's if I, if I find the derivative of this one dy by dt is equal to 3 over 7 then I have to multiply this one by dx by dt dx by dt and that's going to give us 3 over 7 times negative 0 0.5 if we multiply I will get minus 3 over 14 because this is 1 over 2 so we multiply the bottom minus 3 over 40 centimeter per second and that's the final answer and that's how it's done also you can at the end you can mention Therefore, the length of the length of his 
shadow is decreasing because it's negative sign so whenever we have negative sign we can mention that decreasing decreasing by the rate of so whenever we say decreasing we don't have to write the negative sign by the rate of 3 over 14 centimeter per second so that's the final answer i hope you guys like this video see you next time